Hello, this is Bren Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a short tour of the library website. In order to get there from the Santa Monica College homepage, there are two ways to do it. First, you can just add a slash library, and it will take you directly to the library. The other way to get there, from the menu on the college homepage, click the plus sign next to student support, and scroll down under academic support to the library between counseling and tutoring. Either way, it'll take you to the library webpage. From there, there are a number of things that I'd like to point out to you. First off, there's a pop-up Ask Us. This is the availability to chat with a librarian 24-7. During times that the library is normally open, you will be chatting with a Santa Monica College librarian. During other times, you'll be chatting with another librarian from a college or university in the consortium to which we belong. Since I'm just showing you things today, I'll say no thanks. The other place you can go if you need help or if you have a question is the Ask a Librarian chat button. Ask a Librarian is also embedded in many of our databases, so if you're in the middle of a search and you need help, you don't have to leave your search in order to get that research assistance. So first I'm going to show you the buttons and then we'll go through the menu. One search is a search that searches everything that the library owns or subscribes to. When you go to one search, it defaults to online access right now during the summer of 2021 because the library is only offering remote services. Once we open in fall, this may change, but you have different collections you can search. You can search only those things you can access online. You can search articles, books, and other things that you can access online or in person. Or you can look for books and videos that we have physically in the library. So for example, if you're looking for a reserved textbook, this is where you would go. Heading back to the library, you have a number of different ways that you can search when you start your research. Search Library Resources takes you back to OneSearch. Databases lists all of the databases that we subscribe to either in a listing alphabetically by title with a short description of what's in each database or broken down by topic. So if you're looking specifically for ebooks or for business books or for literature resources, you can go directly to those. If you have issues, we have a problem report form and you can chat with technical services when we are available, in other words, during open hours. If we're not available, it will generate an email that will go to Tech Services, and as soon as we're open again, you will get an answer. So if you want immediate help, I always recommend to ask a librarian. We have research guides, which are library guides to a number of different things. Some of them are disciplines or areas of interest. Some of them are current events and some of them are special topics. When you go into one of these, the live guide will explain about the topic and give you links to other very useful resources, both within SMC and out on the web. It will lead you to some excellent resources that we've created and give you other options to take a look at. And always, Ask a Librarian is linked. So those are live guides. And those are linked under Research Guides. Tutoring is free for SMC students. While we are remote, all tutoring is remote. But once we open up, tutoring in these areas will once again be available in person. Please keep an eye on the tutoring website as things change. Workshops and videos go in depth in topics of interest. 
So things like plagiarism, or how to do research, or fake news, or evaluating websites. These workshops are um, in fall of 2021, live via Zoom, and then posted here on this page and on the SMC Library YouTube channel, because many teachers will give extra credit if you watch these workshops. While I'm here, I'm going to show you how to get to the Santa Monica College Library YouTube. Hilariously, you Google it. Don't type in SMC because you'll get St. Mary's College, and that's something completely different. So when you Google Santa Monica College YouTube, it will take you to the College YouTube channel. I am an ocean. And under this channel, they have a variety of sub-channels, and the College Library is one of those sub-channels. Alternatively, you can Google Santa Monica College Library YouTube and go directly to the Library YouTube channel, but I wanted you to see the College YouTube because there's a lot of really useful information on this page. Once you get to the Library YouTube, you'll notice that there are a variety of workshops as well, under videos. And they include everything from how to use specific databases to those workshops that are posted on that page. Um, as you see, there are any number of things, even how to format your MLA style works cited. So this is a useful repository of videos for you to use. Back at the library, Those are all of the buttons. Right now, of course, as I said, during summer of 2021, we are closed. The campus is remote only. Keep an eye on this page because in fall, we, we will be open limited hours. Although we will have full remote services, in other words, our orientations for classes, our workshops, um, and 24-7 chat reference will be remote throughout fall of 2021. We will also have some hours online. Those hours will be open to all SMC students, whether you have an on-ground class or not. So if you're looking for a place to study, or you want to check out a study room with some friends, um, or you just need a quiet place uh, that has Wi-Fi access, or you need a reserve book, or you need to talk to a librarian in person, we will have some hours available in fall. So keep an eye here on the homepage under Hours. Here, there are a list of resources, the YouTube channel, sometimes, most of the time this works, <laughs> um, a remote instruction checklist, and this is for faculty only, so ignore it. Okay. Along this side, we have all of these linked again. So this is books and other materials, search library resources. This is library databases. Now this is where it gets a little different. Research Topics is a database that allows you to say you are assigned an essay and you have to pick your own topic and you're not sure what to pick because you have so many ideas. You can go into this database and if you have not yet logged in, it will require you to log in with your SMC um, Canvas login. And then it gives you all sorts of options. And once you click on one of these, it will give you an overview of the topic and then a variety of different types of information. Journals and news and pro-con essays and statistics and reference sites. This is a great place to start. It's not necessarily the only place you want to go. Your teachers want to see that you've gone to several different databases and looked in lots of different places for your articles, but this is a good place to start. And that's research topics. There's also an introduction to research that lays out step by step how to get the most out of your research. There are citation style guidelines for Modern Language Association, American Psychological Association, Chicago, Turabian, etc. And links to the same workshops that are linked here. Once again, you can ask a librarian. There's information about internet access and printing. And if you have a group, before you come in, you can book a group study room in fall of 2021, we will be open, again, limited hours, and you will be able to 
request a group study room before you come in. Save it for yourself, as it were. Ignore these. These are for faculty. Okay. If you have any questions at any time, please do ask us. I look forward to seeing you in the fall. Be well.